of Islamic empires had a global impact. The fall of Rome created space for other empires to rise to the top. Islam filled this space shortly thereafter. Though Constantinople remained as the capital of the eastern half of the Roman Empire, there would be unrest in the area for centuries. In order for Islam to fill the power vacuum, it needed to be formed. In 600 CE, Muhammad established this new religion. It unified the Arab tribes into one nation. They were first under the rule of the Umayyads and then the Abbasids. The Abbasid Empire was also referred to as the Golden Age of Islamic empires. There was an abundance of wealth and trade routes across Asia. In 750, Baghdad became the capital of the Islamic world. Muslim scholars made developments and breakthroughs in medicine, science, philosophy, and mathematics at the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. In the field of mathematics, algebra was developed, along with improvement of astronomy and geometry. Muslim Spain was a conduit for knowledge. Along with this, an innovative musician from Baghdad named Zuriab opened the first music school in Cordoba in the 800s. Andalusian music stems from his work. The rise of Baghdad did not last, though. The Mongols burned Baghdad to the ground and conquered much of the Middle East in the 1200s. The ideas and success of the Abbasids lived on despite the decline of Islamic power. Islam was fractured. Sunni Shiite further split an ongoing internal religious divide. Ultimately, the fall of the Abbasids occurred in the 1200s. The remaining power was divided amongst the Ottomans, the Safavid, and the Mughals for the most part. The Ottomans were vulnerable to Europeans. They were known as the sick man of Europe, meaning they were experiencing a time of economic difficulty or impoverishment. They were under British control through funding and diplomacy. The Ottomans allied with Germany during World War I. The Allies deceived the Ottomans. They promised Arab independence, but instead they took over. This sets in motion many of the problems that have plagued the Middle East ever since. This brings us back to the achievements of the Abbasids. So little is known about this aspect of Islam. Why is this? Was it obscured by the legacy of European imperialism? This is explored by Edward Said in depth through Orientalism. The Islamic Empire is proof of the deception when it comes to many surrounding stereotypes. Great achievements were accomplished in the Islamic Empire.